Okay, the new topic will start now. That will be friction. All right. So friction. So friction is a force that opposes the relative motion between two surfaces in contact with each other. So once you, it's a contact force, that means it has to be in contact with something. So once this box is in contact with the surface of this floor, then friction is generated. Okay. So friction is this force. Okay. That is because of two bodies coming in contact with one another. So friction is a force that opposes the relative motion. So if this person is trying to push it, this force will try to oppose it. If this person is trying to push it from here, in this case, in that case, the force will be generated in the opposite direction. So it basically opposes the motion of that body. And it is because of the contact between these two surfaces. Okay, the so surface of the box and the surface of the floor. All right. Now there are different kinds of force. Okay, so they have been classified in three parts. One is the static, static friction, sliding friction, and rolling friction. Okay, so there, these are three kinds of friction. Okay. So first, static friction. Now, static friction is so once there is a box, there is a force of friction that is acting in the opposite direction. If this person is trying to push it in this direction. All right. So there is a, some certain amount of force. Now, how much that force is? So one, if he's trying to push it, he's unable to move it. He have to apply more force. Okay. Still more force when he applies. In that case, the box starts moving. So before it starts moving, okay. Before it starts moving, the amount of force, the amount of force that the man was applying, okay, before the box starts moving. Is called as static friction okay so the maximum force so the maximum force exerted by the surface so this is the amount of force that the surface has been applying okay on the body on the box so long as it remains stationary okay so be before he was able to move this box okay the maximum force that was needed is called as the static force, static friction. Okay, that is called the force of static friction. Okay, over here, these two arrows that will represent those forces. Okay, now this force, static friction, is the maximum friction. Once this friction is overcome, okay, after that, it becomes easy for body to move. So, for example, if you're pushing a bed or a heavy table in that case initially you have to apply more force okay just to start the motion once it starts moving you keep pushing it and it moves smoothly okay so it has been calculated experimentally that the first thing is static friction and static friction needs maximum amount of force okay after static friction, it comes sliding friction. Okay. So after static, it comes sliding friction. So it is a minimum force required to keep the body moving over a surface such that it moves equal distance in equal interval of time. Okay. It is called as a force of sliding friction. Okay. So suppose once the body, say, this body has started moving okay now it travels in a very smooth fashion okay that's why so it travels equal distance in equal interval of time that means it moves in a uniform speed okay in a uniform motion suppose you're pushing a bed it has it has started moving now it will move smoothly now that kind at that time it has sliding friction so sliding friction is less than static friction so static friction has you need maximum force to overcome static friction after that it, it is easy because it has sliding friction so the sliding friction is less than static friction okay now after start sliding friction it comes rolling friction so if you keep this box okay on a roller in that case the friction is drastically reduced Okay, this is called as a rolling friction. So, minimum force required to roll a body on a surface 
is called as a rolling friction so because of wheels it becomes very easy for us to move this body this is called as rolling friction so remember one thing static friction you require maximum amount of force so static friction is so maximum amount of force is required to move it after that comes sliding friction okay sliding friction would be less than okay sliding friction is less than static friction and rolling friction is less than sliding and static friction all right 